It's the Met's only unsolved child murder. Eleven years ago, the torso of a young boy was discovered in the Thames. Officers called him Adam and suspected he was the victim of a ritualistic killing. Now an expert witness brought in to help solve the crime has written a book about the case. Alice Bandakravi has been to meet him. A clearer picture had emerged during the investigation of just how extensive the trafficking operation had been. Young people had been recruited in Benin City with false promises of a better life in Europe. When the Met Police asked him to help find out how and why a child would be dismembered and disposed of in the Thames, Richard Hoskins was a senior lecturer in African religions. The case of Adam, as the child in the orange shorts came to be called, not only confounded investigators, but changed his career and his life. Well, we know that his real name was probably Ikpomwasa, and he came from Benin City in Nigeria. We know that he was trafficked into this country, probably for the purpose of sacrifice. It's horrendous and, and gruesome. But what that effectively means is that he was suspended upside down and he had his throat cut um, and the blood was drained out of his body. What I think is so shocking for people probably in London is that this has actually happened here in this capital city and it's not the only case. This investigation has led to a whole load of other investigations that I've been involved in. I've got something like 10 at the moment on my desk which I'm investigating and they're not all African cases and it's really important to say that, that this is a whole variety of different traditions and backgrounds from, from white through to Asian through to, to African. But there are cases of, uh, within certain communities of children being abused because uh, they're either thought to be witches um, or indeed for other reasons to do with things like trafficking that are going on in London. And it, and it is a serious issue that we cannot sweep under the carpet. It was a passerby on Tower Bridge who first saw the body of Adam floating in the Thames back in 2001. Eleven years on and his case is still unsolved. I think um, for me, being involved in the investigation for 10 or 11 years and, and the other officers on the case, it's haunting to think that we actually haven't solved the case and probably now never will. Um, that's, that's terrible. Despite those fears, the Met says the case has not been closed and that the force remains committed to finding Adam's killers. Alice Bandukravi, BBC London News.